morning, Pat. Oh, it is yourself, Nora. Have you got any post for me today? Oh, let me check now and we'll see. I am expecting a letter from my daughter, Victoria. She's an editor of a well-known fashion magazine in Dublin. So that's what she does. And she got her masters, you know. Good morning, Nora. Oh, good morning, Mrs. O'Brien. Still here, Pat? Yeah, I was just checking if there's a letter for Nora. Oh, you can come over and watch my new television tomorrow if you like, Pat. Oh! Cindy O'Brien has a television in her house. How can she have a television in her house? So you can rent them now for a few, Bob. Oh. Uh, there's nothing for you, uh, Nora. I'll be on my way oh. now. Did you know about this, Fred? No, about what? Cindy O'Brien next door had the television. So what? She has to be the first on the road with everything. Ah, uh, no, no. Oh, it's true, Fred. She was the first to have salad with her dinner in the evening. And now she has the television. And the transistor radio. Oh, she's going to bring the devil into her house. Mary Nona from number 43, she told me that her son had the television and that he's watching it and they're watching you and they're going to tell you what to do. That was Pat the Postman. We found that letter at the end of his sack. It looks like Victoria's handwriting. Oh, exciting news, Fred. What is it, Nora? Victoria's going to be on the television. One of her designs is going to be advertised this weekend. Oh. Now, Fred, we have to go down to our TV rental immediately and hire a television. And what about the devil? What's in your program this morning? Ah, I thought you'd ever ask. I'm talking to one of a group of industrialists, they say, a reporter. Morning, sir. Good morning. How are you today? Oh, thank you. How may I help you? We're here. Speak up, Fred. We're here to rent one of those no fan dangle televisions you've got. Oh, they're very popular at the moment. Everybody wants one. Would you mind having a look at that rental agreement form there, sir? Oh, thank you. Okay. Now, just get a few things out of the way. Would you like to pay weekly here in the shop, or would you want one of those slot meters? We pay weekly. We pay on a Friday. Oh, we always pay on a Friday. Oh, that's great. No, ma'am. Would you mind just sign there, so love, and it'll put you on the waiting list? Waiting list? What do you mean, waiting list? Ma'am, as I said, they're very popular. There's a waiting list of three to four weeks. But I want a television today. <laughs> My neighbour, she got her television yesterday. Ah, she must have ordered it weeks ago, didn't love? Oh, that's Cindy O'Brien. She's always one step ahead of me, Fred. Oh, Cindy O'Brien, I know her very well. What do we do now? Oh, give him some money. Bribe him. But, Fred, get me a television. Sir, can I show you to the showrooms? And you see the televisions? Oh, I'm furious, Liddy. Fred even tried to bribe the salesman, but we still have to wait four weeks for a television. I wouldn't like those old televisions at all now, Nora, like, you know what I mean? Like, how did they get in there? And when did they get out, like? And when did they go home for dinner? Well, when they're hungry, I expect. And they're half naked on it, you know? Oh, well, no, I'm not sure. And you have to feed the money? Do we all again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the sacred heart picture on the wall. Watches everything. Oh, we'll have to cover all the holy pictures on the wall, Lizzie. Have you enough clothes now, Nora? Oh, what am I going to do, Lizzie? Victoria will be on the television and Cindy O'Brien will see it and I won't. 
Is this about Victoria or Cindy O'Brien? What do you mean, Lizzie? Well, you never got over her when you and the Colin Bond. Ah, uh, Colin Bond, me ass now, Lizzie. She only won that contest because she was doing a line with one of the judges. Yeah, but she wiped your eye on that too, you know. Oh, God, I know. But what am I going to do? Victoria will be on the television at the weekend. Cindy O'Brien will see her. And I won't. She might let you watch it in her house. I'm not going to ask that one. Sure, I can ask her for you. Are you finished that inside outside cake yet, there? Thank you very much. Good morning, Lizzie. Good morning, Cindy. I didn't see you there. Your petulips are coming on lovely. Petunas? And what about my marigolds and busy Lizzie's? Thanks for asking, Cindy, but I'm not that busy now this morning. And drinking tea with Nora O'Brien. Wait till I tell you, Nora's daughter be on the television advertising her own show. Her designs? Yeah, but she has no telly for Nora. I have a television. Do you, Cindy? I didn't know that now. Arriving this morning. I'll be watching Green Acres tonight. Is that a flower show, Cindy? Tis, Lizzie. You'll be able to see Victoria Bryan on the television tonight. I might be washing my hair. Sure, if you're not washing your hair, she will start at 8 o'clock. Do you want to watch it in my house, Lizzie? Ah, uh, Cindy, we couldn't impose. But what time, anyway? After tea. We can watch Charles Mitchell reading the news first. Charles Mitchell? Oh, I love him. I must get my perm done. And I'll bring a couple of brown bottles. Do you know what? I'll ask a few of the neighbours. You know, we can make an occasion out of it. We'll make a night of it. And I'll bring my ten brown bottles hanging on the wall. Ten brown bottles. Late news now on RT1 with Vera Wynne Jones. The wife of the so called Border Fox. I'm just going to get there. some baby jumps for the ladies and style for the lads. Oh, Charles Mitchell, isn't he gorgeous? Oh, he's very distinguished. Watch to me, his Adam's apple go up and down. Did you see it, Fred? I wasn't really looking at his Adam's oh. apple, Lizzie. Your daughter will be coming on soon, Nora. Oh, any minute now. You must be very excited, Nora. Oh, I am. I'm so proud of my daughter, Victoria. Ever since she got her master's, it has opened all kind of doors for her. And she has a creative eye for designs. Even as a young girl, she always wanted me to take her to Todd's for Saturday. And um, by the way, Cindy, does your daughter still work in O'Mary's, the bacon factory? Oh, didn't you hear? She's getting married to a doctor from the Ennis Road. Is she getting married in March to get her tax back? Tis coming on, tis coming on. Turn it off, turn it off. I'll turn out the lights. In just 30 seconds, I can show you how to do as much for your figure as you can by exercising for 30 days. So that's your... Victoria and Nora. The unique crisscross design shapes and supports you beautifully, like this to give you a lovely and natural shape instantly. Cross your heart bras. So ladies, get ready to lift and separate. She has your nose, Fred. 